Welcome to our series, People, Places, and Things. Our topic for today is Make Ready the Way of the Lord, John the Baptist. Our passage for reading today comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John appeared, baptizing in the wilderness, and proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And all the country of Judea, and all Jerusalem were going out to him, and were being baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, and wore a leather belt around his waist, and ate locusts and wild honey. And he preached, saying, After me comes he who is mightier than I, the strap of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The long drought of silence is over. Once again the word of the Lord has come down to man. It had been over 400 years since Malachi had last received an oracle from above. Centuries of waiting and apprehension had come and gone, and now, just as Malachi, and indeed all of the prophets had foretold, the Messiah has come. But a hardened people must be prepared. Hearts must be softened, and minds made ready for what they were about to receive. John's coming had been prophesied centuries before and was likened to the coming again of Elijah the prophet. All of Israel knew that this was to happen. Yet Jesus tells us they did not recognize him in Matthew 17, 12. In fact, all that God said would happen was announced in the word centuries before. God does nothing but that he lets man know beforehand. Amos 3, 7. For it says, For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants, the prophets. The verse used here about preparing the way is from the book of Isaiah. The phrase here is more accurately rendered, A voice is calling. Clear the way for the Lord in the wilderness. Make smooth in the desert a highway for our God. It is not the one calling who is in the wilderness, but the path that is coming, and the way will be from the wilderness. It seems as though God's children must always make that journey to him, through the wilderness. The Israelites from Egypt, the exiles from Babylon, and here, though the Messiah will come to his people from the wilderness. Though he would be from within the Jewish people, he must come as an outsider to bring the good news of his kingdom. He would come to a people unprepared. John's task was to bring a people penitent, and open to receive this kingdom. Time would be short for this task, but John has spent years in the wilderness of Judea, himself preparing for this day. Lord willing, join us again tomorrow as we'll look at more people, places, and things from the Bible.